Do you need to fix yourself? Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to go from the regular guy everyone ignores to becoming him using the upgrade, enhance, and switch methods. This method has three steps. For each step, you'll have to focus on different aspects of your life and personality. Step one, upgrade. To transform yourself, you need to upgrade your style and looks. So let's talk style. Sweatpants and a three-year-old t-shirt with holes in it are not flattering. You need to upgrade your wardrobe for all occasions. A few high quality t-shirts that show off your gym gains and a few pairs of jeans that don't stick to your legs are a good start, but that's just casual wear. You'll also can find inspirations from some old money Instagram pages. You need to build your staple wardrobe. That means plain t-shirts, button downs, polos, crew neck sweaters, chinos, dress pants, long lasting denim, and a few jackets. Once you've got your wardrobe, learn to take care of it. Wash your clothes the way the label says. Then you can move on to accessories like watches, belts, chains, bracelets, and a few rings, depending on your taste. Next, you need to upgrade your haircut. Guys tend to stick to the same haircut they've been getting since high school. This is why they get stuck at level three or five on the attractive meter. You need to know which hairstyle will suit you according to your face shape. There are types of face shapes, and I'll tell you which hairstyle will suit which face. Make sure first to check your face type. Oblong if your face is rounded but still squarish at the bottom. Then you have an oblong shape. A classic side swept crew cut would look nice. Diamond, diamond faces have sharp cheekbones, a narrow forehead, and a chin, so you need to add width to your places. A textured crop with a fringe will balance out your features. Avoid short and swept back haircuts. Square square faces have strong jaw lines. A haircut that will soften your features will look best, so go for a wavy or messy style. Heart if you have a wide forehead and a narrow chin with a widow's peak, then you have a heart-shaped face. You should get some messy fringe and bangs to soften that hairline and a layered haircut. Triangle triangle faces have a small forehead but a wide jawline, so you need to add volume to the top. I've noticed that triangle faces look the best with a nice comb over or a quiff. Then you're going to want to reshape your face by fixing your beard. If you want to look more confident, then grow a beard. Find a style that complements your jawline. A sharp fade with a trimmed beard showcases dominance, while a fuller, well-maintained beard shows that you're a respectable man. If you don't know what to do, hit up a barber that you can trust and try out a classic style. Make sure your beard is clean and healthy. If you have a patchy beard, find a good beard oil that will stimulate hair growth. Hair healthy hair shows the world that you're a high testosterone man. Trust me, these characteristics matter. Get a trim every few weeks and do hot oil massages and hair masks to avoid early male pattern baldness. Hair is the key to confidence, so if your hair is thinning, try minoxidil. Makeup optional. This might sound weird, but sometimes you get a pimple or something, and it can bring down your confidence. You can try using a tiny dot of concealer to cover it up. It makes you look put together, too. Step two, enhance. Now that we're on step two, you need to know how to enhance your already existing features. You have to put more focus on your striking features, so if you have a sharp jawline, a defined face, make sure to have a proper skin routine with that. In our previous video, we covered skin routine, so you can check it out. Now, if you are chubby or don't have a well-defined jaw area, then growing a proper beard would work. A clean goatee or full beard is a good choice, but a patchy beard works perfectly too. If you can't grow a beard, then again, minoxidil is a choice. Now, if you want to enhance your jawline, then mewing or hard mewing would work, depending on your experience with that. Mewing helps you correct your posture and develops your maxilla area properly. Another thing that will help you slim your face is dipping it in ice cold water every morning. This tightens the skin and gives you a bright glow. To make your jawline really stand out, you can do certain exercises, chew harder food, take care of nutrition, and reduce the sodium intake. This will also even out your complexion. If you have attractive eyes, use an eye cream to brighten your under eye area. Also, get your eyebrows done. Too bushy or thick eyebrows are no-no. If you have thin eyebrows, you need to grow them. So minoxidil or any good product for eyebrow growth is a good choice. Now, smile and lip area. If you have a great smile, then smiling often is a must. But if you have a bad or crooked smile, oral hygiene together with mewing and maybe even bracelets is a good option. You can also use a lip balm to hydrate your lips. Mewing and certain lip exercise are also important. If your lips are really tiny or thin, you want them to be a little bit bigger. So exercise for lips, Google it. Another thing you'll have to enhance is your diet since it's directly related to your looks. 
If you want to get rid of puffiness in the face and bloating in the stomach, then eat proper food for your gut. Reduce the sugar intake, replace them with proteins and healthy fats. Also, proper hydrating is really important. Avoid soda or any sugary drinks. Focusing on juicy fruits and veggies. They can help you reach your hydration goals. Then, you'll need to stock up on anti-inflammatory ingredients like fatty fish. Make sure to limit your salt and sugar because they're the true culprit. Lastly, work out for looks. Working out for looks is all about reducing your body fat percentage while maintaining muscle. Focusing on complex exercises that will develop your shoulder area, make your arms defined, and focus on V-tape. The most important is the lean V look. Everything else is extra. Step three, switch. After enhancing, you have to switch out things that are bad for you. And the first thing you have to switch out is negative self-talk. The brain is a listener. And the more you say something like, I'm worthless, the more it solidifies that belief. Start believing in yourself and your abilities and watch yourself transform. Once the negative self-talk stops, you can change your locus of control from external to internal. An external locus of control makes you think all three bad things are happening to you because of other people or things. But once you start to focus on what you can control, like your health, looks, relationship, skill, and education, then you'll feel more confident in yourself. 